Are you in a relationship but not having sex with your partner? Why the fuck you in a relationship? What's up, everybody? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, but I ain't Mr. Rogers. It's your boy, Mike Watts, and I'm here to give it to you raw and direct every time, all the time. Today, I want to talk about an important topic in relationships. Intimacy in relationships. Most importantly, that's a very important topic because I'm going to give you all a stat right off the top like I sometimes do. 20% of marriages today are less. 20%. That means two out of every 10 marriages today doesn't have any in that marriage. And I don't even want to get into relationships, but we're just talking about marriages right now. And then 80% of marriages have related problems. I, I don't even want to get into listing all the problems, but they're sex related. We have to understand that one of the most important things in a marriage or in a relationship is sex. And that's the topic today. Today, we're going to talk about sex and relationships, most importantly, marriages. Now, I'm going to ask a question. Why would you be in a relationship if you don't want to have sex with your partner? Why? Ask yourself that. Because why are you in a relationship if you're not, not attracted to your partner or don't want to have sex with your partner? Come on, let's be honest. And most of the time, this is an issue that women have. I get it. Sometimes there might be a guy who work a lot, not sleeping with his wife, or you have a situation where the wife put on a lot of weight and he's just basically no longer attracted to it. Look at it like this. What about the guy, right, who marry a woman at 125. She weighed 125. She put on after kids, after she get comfortable and everything like that. She put on 60 pounds. Now she's 185. He's no longer having sex with you. He's not attracted to you no more. Would you have sex with you? Are you attracted to you? You got to cut the light out before you take your clothes off and this and that. You, 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 you embarrass. Why should he be still attracted to you? Because he love you? Yeah, he still love you. He still loves you. But that don't mean he's attracted to you. He married 125. So the responsibility is on you to maintain a relative weight to 125. I understand you get older, your metabolism slow down, you have a couple kids. Okay, 130, 135, maybe even 140. 185, a lot of times women let themselves go. Men too, but we're talking about women today. Because women are the ones a lot of times that don't want to have sex in these relationships. Men always want sex. So briefly, I'm going to talk about when a man don't want to have sex with his wife. Um, a lot of times it's because the attraction is there. He's still in love. He's still in love her to death. And he's too scared to say something to her about her weight because then it's like, oh, you're supposed to love me for me. And you're supposed to, yeah, that's rude. And, oh, that's ignorant. And Y'all say y'all want communication, right? Y'all want communication. So why can't he tell you, babe, you're getting fat. <laughs> I know it's, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. But they seem like you're putting on a little weight. Well, whatever he say, you're going to get mad. But that's the reason why communication is so important. And now when he don't say something, you start putting on weight, the attraction start to diminish. 
if he's starting to look at adult movies, only fan girls, and all these girls that weigh 125, now you want to say he's cheating or whatever the case may be. So that's why I want to say a big reason for some of that is uh, the female gaining weight. But I put a lot of the blame on a man for not speaking up. I guess the blame got to be shared because he want to speak up, but he can't speak up because if a man is real with you, then a lot of times he get ridiculed for being real. So it's kind of like a catch 22. So the bottom line is, I'm going to say, fellas, if your woman is gaining weight, you have to be real with her because the because at the end of the day. If you're real with her up front, it's not your fault if she can't handle the truth. It's not your fault if she can't handle the truth. So therefore, be real with her up front because in the end, if she start gaining weight and you're not sleeping with her and then now you start cheating or something like that, it's going to come out in the wash anyway. So just keep it all the way real so that way you can avoid a potential problem in the end. So if she's gaining weight, let her know. So that's the first thing I want to say to the fellas and to y'all women who, you know, if your man is not attracted to you no more or is not showing you affection or don't want to have sex with you, you it's, it's more than likely your weight because men usually want to have sex all the time. So a lot of time it's usually your weight. Could be other factors. I'm just touching base on one of the main reasons um, that a man wouldn't want to have sex with his woman. Now. To the women, because majority of the time in relationships, it's the woman that's not desiring sex. And I just want to say it's your duty and obligation to have sex with your husband, boyfriend, or girlfriend. Whatever. Got to keep it politically correct nowadays. But it's your duty to have sex. With your husband, it's your duty to have sex with your boyfriend. It's your duty to have sex with your girlfriend. And the reason why I say duty, because a lot of people say, oh, my body, my choice and all this bullshit. Right. You know what I'm saying? And when I say bullshit, I don't mean that from the standpoint of it's not your body. I mean, it's your body, but it's not your choice. I mean it from the standpoint of. If you're choosing to be in a relationship, this is your obligation. This is what you're signing up for, especially if you're getting married. If you're choosing to get married, if you accept the proposal, will you marry me? Oh, my God. Yes. Yeah. You're signing up to have sex with your man. Whenever he wants, because your body now belongs to him and his body belongs to you. It's the, it go both ways. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying, oh, oh, OK, it's only about, OK, whenever the man. I mean, your your bodies belong to each other. Once you become married, 100 percent. But I'm talking about in general, in relationships also. Because that's the point of being in a relationship. Companionship, but also sex. unless. You're going to be in a polyamorous relationship. Polyamorous means one man, multiple women, one woman, multiple men, couple, multiple couples, a couple bringing in. It, it means multiple lovers, poly, multiple. So unless you're allowing your significant other, but let's talk about men, unless you're allowing your man to sleep with other women, it's your duty. An obligation to have sex with him whenever he wanted. Now, of course, if he do something wrong and he in a doghouse and you're mad, you're arguing, okay, all right, all right, all right, you get a pass on that. But if he's doing everything he's supposed to do and playing his part the way he's supposed to play his part, You're obligated to have sex with that man whenever he wants to. It 
don't matter. Oh, I got a headache. The fuck? Oh, I don't feel good. I mean, unless, like I said, your 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 your, your menstrual cycle is on, or y'all been arguing, so it's just kind of like, all right, you know, whatever. He understand that. But if he's doing everything right, the fuck? You don't want him to sleep with other girls. He's feeling in the mood. What you mean you don't feel like it? What you mean your body, your choice? Uh, yeah, okay, my body, I choose to go fuck another girl. But you're not cool with that. And I'm cool that you're not cool with that. Because I want you anyway. I only want you. If he only wants you, then you have to make sure that he always has access to you. Because then if he starts cheating, what? Oh, he should have had self-control. What do you mean? Why? He does have self-control. That's why he's not messing with these other girls. His self-control is what's making him say, hmm, that looked good. Mm, I'm in a strip club, but now nah, I'm cool. I'm going to go home and sleep with my girl or sleep with my wife. Or, uh, that girl in the supermarket look good, but I'm not going to approach her. She got a nice body. I'm not going to approach her. You know, she's walking around with her spandex and all that, you know, and I'm not going to approach her because I'm going to go home and sleep with my wife. Or I'm going to text my bae and start flirting early so I could get some later. But then he don't get none late. So now he's sexually frustrated. He got to go do release himself in the bathroom or watching adult movies and all this bullshit. When he got a whole wife, he has a whole wife or a whole girlfriend that's available. That's available. She's just choosing not to make sure he's good. That's unfair. That's selfish on your part. Some girls say, oh, it's selfish on his part because if I'm going through something mentally or if I'm going through something physically, like what, whatever you're going through, it's like, yo, let's keep it real. It's not selfish on his part. It's selfish on your part because how long is it going to last? 10, 15, 20 minutes? Some men, two minutes? So out of 24 hours of your mental anguish, whatever you're going through, you still have a responsibility of him because he can't say, oh, I'm going through something mentally, so I'm not going to pay some bills. Oh, I'm going through something mentally, so I'm not going to have sex. with. Well, with men is different because if men, if a man is going through something mentally, he doesn't have the ability to perform because if it ain't happening he can't perform but with a woman little spit little lube whatever you know what i'm saying you know she could still perform she might not be at her peak performance with the whole you know adult movie star level that she usually do you know if, if she's a freak like that whatever but sometimes you give him that performance that Sometimes you give them that performance that locked him in. But if you ain't really in a mood, okay. How much work and effort do it take on your part? The man put in all the work most of the time anyway. The man put in most of the work all the time anyway. How much work and effort do it really take on your part? Think about it. If he understand you going through something or whatever the case may be, but he in a the mood, then it's like, okay, he can have enough consideration to say, to just not make it a, marathon session but at least let him be satisfied let's say that's selfish on your part because whatever you're going through throughout the day number one he's not going through it he's vicariously going through it but you know what i'm saying he's not going through it so he's feeling in the mood he's feeling horny okay number one it might make you feel better getting into the mix but regardless, you can't give him 10 minutes. This the man that you love. This the man that you marry. You can't give him 10 minutes. 
10 minutes, 15 minutes, and in some cases, two minutes. You can't give your man two minutes, regardless of how you feeling. Like I said, you don't got to get all into the mix and all go all crazy, but you can still, yo, your man want it. Yo, make sure he good. Come on, say you got a kid. Or some of, you, some of y'all that do have a kid. Your kid hungry. It don't matter how the fuck you feel or what you going through. You got to feed your kid. And I'm not saying men are kids, but I'm just saying if it's somebody that you love and they're hungry for something, Feed them. Don't be selfish. So a woman that doesn't please her man because of whatever issues she's dealing with, she's being selfish because it's your obligation to feed your man, just like it's your obligation to feed your kid. And when I say feed your man, I'm saying it's your obligation to provide sex to your man. It's your obligation to provide sex to your significant other. And if you don't want to, then one, allow them to have other girls. It's real simple. Allow them to sleep with other girls. Allow it. And two, get out of the relationship. Because there's no need to be in a relationship if you don't want to do the most important part of the, one of the most important parts of the relationship. One of the most important things in the relationship. If you don't want to do that, don't be in a relationship. So just remember, when you sign up to be in a relationship, and definitely when you sign up to get married, you're signing up to have sex whenever your husband or boyfriend want to have sex. It's your obligation. Period. And another problem that comes out of this is a lot of times what happens is you're attracted to your man or your husband. And and that's why you got with them in the first place. So but then this emasculation of men is going on in society today. So what happens is a lot of times y'all women start to emasculate your man so much. To the point where. You're no longer attracted to him no more. It's crazy. You beg him, oh, open up to me. Be, show your emotion. Then a motherfucker starts showing their emotions. Now they look weak and soft to you. They start doing the things, catering to you. And then, okay, now all of a sudden, you're not attracted to them no more. So you emasculate your man so much that you're no longer attracted to him. And then that's where the problem come in at because now he don't even know how to act around you or he don't even know when you're mad, when you're not mad, or he's been rejected so much that, I mean, because listen, think about if a man reject you, ladies. If a man reject you from sex, it's the end of the fucking world. It's like, oh my God, is it me? Is it my body? Is it, oh Jesus, I need therapy. I need to talk to somebody. Oh, mom, why is he not? Oh, text your girlfriend. What's with you? Do your boyfriend do this? I, it's, it's the whole everything. Want to know why? Because number one, y'all know men are supposed to be strong and can handle anything. And number two, y'all know men desire sex all the time. So if, you get rejected. It's the end of the fucking world. But men are humans too. <laughs> we're humans. We're loyal. You know we're loyal. Look at how many. Look at look at men that follow sports teams. Women be like, oh, who's in the who's in the Super Bowl? Oh, okay, yeah, that's my team. Buying shirts and everything. Women don't give a fuck, but men, well, some, a lot of women, because some women are diehard fans. You understand what I'm saying? But men, win or lose, they dying for their team. You know what I mean? That's the loyalty trait in men. Men are loyal as fuck. You know what I'm saying? You know, they might 
sleep with another girl. So that don't mean they don't love their girl. Because they loyal. So if a man try to have sex with his wife, his girlfriend, whatever, it's nothing more demeaning to a man than trying to have sex with your wife and getting rejected. Let's be honest, man. You think that don't hurt a motherfucker feelings? You think that don't hurt a motherfucker feelings? Getting rejected by your wife or your girl? For no reason? It's different if it's like, motherfucker, get away from me because you pissed me off. You did this, you did that. Okay, yeah, I get it. But just, uh, babe, stop. Uh, I don't feel like it. Uh, I ain't in the mood. Come on, man. That's rejection. How you think he feel? It hurts. It's emasculating. Especially if he's doing everything he's supposed to do as a man. And he's not cheap. The fuck? Make it make sense. Make it make sense. He's not cheating. He's desiring you. And you're rejecting him. He's not cheating. He's doing everything he's supposed to do as a man that you require of him. And you reject him. I don't get it. That's how a man feels loved and respected. By even by being able to have sex with his woman, wife, girlfriend, it doesn't matter. And men don't ask for much. Women ask for everything. Men don't ask for much. They, they, they don't ask for much. Men don't ask for much. They just want to be able to have sex with their female, their woman, and eat. <laughs> That's it. You know, they say the way to keep a man happy is to keep his stomach full and his balls empty. That's it. That's all a man requires. His stomach full and his balls empty, you're going to have that man for life. Trust me. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's a word to the wild. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that you remember that, ladies. The way to keep a man is all you have to do is keep his stomach full and his balls empty. That's it. <laughs> Men are simple. You're the ones that's complicated. So I just wanted to make it clear. It's difficult to have a healthy relationship without no sex involved in the relationship. And then some women say, oh, he don't do it right. He don't do. OK, he's not a mind reader. Tell him what to do. It's not his job to figure out. How to please you. That's not his job. He know how to please himself and it don't take much to please him. Because once you're already available, he's already pleased. And then once in a mix, you know, a couple pumps, it's a wrap. But communicate and let him know what to do. Don't just reject him. He don't know what to do. And then when he finally get to do, then it's trash because it's been so long. That he don't know what to do because it's been so long. And you're on top of it being so long, you're not telling him what to do, what you like, what you don't like. Come on, what, the, what, what what's up? Communicate with your man. Communicate with your man. So, yeah. Intimacy is your obligation. And then it kills me when you got these couples that don't sleep together in the same bed. The fuck is that about? Like, come on. How emasculating can that be? Come on, bro. Oh, he snored. Okay. Get a CPAP or whatever that shit called that you put over your. You know what I'm saying? You know, to get, sleep with your man. That way y'all could cuddle intimacy. It don't intimacy don't only mean sex. It don't only mean sex. But why the fuck are y'all sleeping apart? 
break up or get a divorce or start working on getting a divorce. That's my solution. Come on, man. Stop wasting time. Oh, we together for the kids. Okay, all right, all right. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. But my thing is, my thing is, if you're not together as one, why be together? And if you don't want your man to have access to sex whenever he wants, then allow him to have access to sex from other women. It's really that simple. Because a sexless relationship is extremely unhealthy. So either allow your man to have access to sex from you whenever he wants, or allow your man to have access to sex from other women when you're not available. When you're not available. Like if you're not having sex with your man or if you're not sexually attracted to your man or if you're just not into sex. All right. There's deeper issues. But while you're working through those issues. You're still obligated to have sex if you don't want him to sleep around or cheat or if you don't want to allow him to have other women or sleep with another woman, anything like that. You have to work out those issues, try to figure out those issues. And, but in the meantime, you still got to have sex. Um, don't, what a lot of women do also is they don't initiate sex. You gotta, you gotta initiate it. Make them feel wanted. Make them know, let him know because he don't, especially if you reject them, he don't know when Cause you could be like, oh, I was ready, but he didn't try. Well, he didn't try because he don't want to get rejected. He's scared to try. Not scared of you, but scared of rejection. He's scared of rejection. Come on, we only human. He didn't try. I was ready. I was horny, but I, he didn't try. Uh, well, let him know. Subtle, a subtle touch. A subtle smile, subtle kiss, a subtle rub on it in a thigh, some kind of hint. He's going to take the bait. <laughs> He's going to take the bait. Come on. You know what I'm saying? This shit is simple. Um, and then what a lot of y'all women do is. Y'all connect with y'all girlfriends who don't keep it real because all y'all delusional at some point. And most of y'all don't keep it real. I ain't going to say all, but most women are delusional. Y'all don't keep it real. Y'all lie to each other. Y'all, that's kind of why a lot of y'all like male friends because they keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Which is another topic because I don't feel like a female should have male friends because th that's another topic. But now you're talking to your girlfriends complaining. Yeah, it ain't fair. He think I should just have sex. He got mad. He's frustrated. But your girlfriend ain't going to say that. Your girlfriend is going to lie to you because that's what girlfriends do. Y'all lie to each other. All the time. Y'all lie to each other. I had a girl before that had a girlfriend that would call her complaining to her. This girl, her man was a bouncer at a strip club. She was cute. He trying to have sex with her. She just not in the mood. This man work at a strip club. And he can't have sex with his woman that look cute. Obviously, she cute to him. Even if she didn't look cute, she cute to him. That's why it's his girl. She called my girl complaining that he got mad that she wouldn't have sex with him. It's my body, my choice. Fuck he mad about. He acting immature. He this, he that. He's sitting in the car. Now we ain't speaking because I wouldn't have sex with him. He said, oh, I could have sex with so many girls. He can. He could. He worked at a strip club. Girl, just like you met him at the strip club. You was working there. You liked him. 
You think other girls there don't like him? But guess what? He's loyal to you and trying to have sex with you. Stupid. How stupid can you be? Oh, he need to, he better go beat off because I ain't in the mood, so I ain't going to do it. What? Why would he go do that? Why would he go do that? One of them girls that's at the club that like him, he could just start a fling while you at home being stupid. And mind you, his girl was cheating on him anyway. I knew that from my girl. But that's a whole nother story. This man being loyal to her, can't have sex with her. She's mad that he's mad and don't understand why he's mad and feel like she's not obligated to have sex with him while also at the same time be sleeping with other niggas. Like, come on, it just be crazy, but whatever. Um, but that's an example of how delusional women are. She calls my girl and my girl's like, yeah, girl, you right. Mind you, me and that girl ain't together no more. Because I don't deal with fake, fakeness. And, 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 but my whole thing is, that's how women are. So now they link to women who feel like the same way they do. It's like, yeah, girl, you right. It's your body, your choice. Who you think he is? You don't need to do something you don't feel like it. You don't need, you right. You don't need to do something you don't feel like. But also allow him to do him. Then, or don't be in a relationship. It's really that simple. Come on, man. Come on. So, I just wanted to touch base on that topic. I don't want to go too long about it, but that's what it is. So, thank you for watching this episode of the Mike Watch Show. And always remember to like, share, and subscribe. And also, if you have any questions, concerns, anything you want to discuss with me in your personal life or any topics you think you might want me to talk about, leave it down in the comments below. If you want to reach out to me and want to have a session with me to discuss some things, some questions you might have in your personal life about uh, your relationship or anything like that, just shoot me a DM or shoot me an email. My email is also in the description. And um, you don't need to be in a relationship that is sexless. You don't need to be. That's not a healthy relationship. And it can never be healthy unless you change that. And uh, that's about it. So with that, we're signing off. Peace. I'm just living my life. 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 I'm just living my life.